Hey there, good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. It is 10.56 a.m. and I am proud to present to you the Mesa, Arizona Weekly Real Estate Roundup. I am a realtor with the Valley Solutions team at HomeSmart. I also have what I believe is the single best website to look for homes in Mesa, Arizona and in all of Arizona for that matter. www.mls4mesa.com Again, www.mls4mesa.com where you can search all homes by clicking here. You can see all Mesa homes for sale, Mesa pool homes, just listed homes, etc. You can see a snapshot of the Mesa real estate market. This is the median price. We're going to talk about that here in a bit. As well as the ability to search for homes in some featured Mesa communities. Search all homes for sale in any city and find out your home value. So let's get to it. I'm actually going to mix it up a little bit today. I have the MLS open in right here. I figured this would be a really good chart or a really good uh, representation of what's going on. This map right here, it's a pretty good outline of Mesa, Arizona. There are 673 homes for sale right now in Mesa, Arizona. Let me click on list and I'm just going to show you the lowest priced home and the highest priced home. Uh, there is a $52,000 home for sale in Mesa, Arizona, as well as a $3.985 million home for sale in Mesa, Arizona, and everything in between. Let's go to this chart or this map right here. So if you remember, what was it, like six or 700 homes on the market? This is showing you all under contract homes and pending sale homes. There are 927 of them. There are more homes under contract in Mesa, Arizona than there are actively listed homes for sale. Yes, there are fewer buyers in the market. And I'm about to show you there's actually fewer sellers in the market right now. But what that means is there are still sellers and there are still buyers. And the truth is it takes one real buyer to sell one real home. We don't need 20 showings. We don't need five offers. We need one great offer to get your home sold. That's where it's important to make sure you connect with a super experienced real estate agent. Somebody that wakes up every day, has a pulse on the market and knows what they're talking about. Let's go here real quick. These are homes that have closed to escrow since April 1st, 2020. You can see it right here, April 1st, 2020, 767 of them. Again, homes are selling. There are buyers and there are sellers. So let's jump right over here to the Mesa, Arizona real estate market roundup. First thing we're going to look at is median list price. In like all cities in the valley since 2017, there's been an increase. And you'll see that right here, it was $300,000 in May 2017. Slight fluctuations on the way up. 2019, everything took off. Steady increases where the median asking price in Mesa actually hit a high of $422,000. This has declined since the COVID-19 crisis. The median asking price went from $422,000 down to $375,000. You might think that is dramatic and it sure looks dramatic on that chart. Let's scroll down here though. This is market segments and each segment represents approximately 25% of the market, meaning this is the average of the lowest price 25%. This is the average of the next 25, next 25, and this is the average median price of the top 25% of the homes. If you look at new, new means newly listed. There were 34 in the bottom quarter. There were 36 in the next quarter up. These are all homes that have an average price of 
well below 340,000. And then, so what is that? That is 70 homes listed in the bottom two quartiles, bottom two quarters, and 32 homes listed in the top two quarters. That by itself means that a lot of people have put their smaller homes on the market. A lot of those could have been Airbnbs. A lot of those could have been investment and rental properties. That will drag the median asking price down, just like you're seeing here. The next chart we're going to look at is average price per square foot. And this is telling because, again, you can see a steady incline, a steady increase since 2017 and before through 2019. It actually hit a high of $183 per square foot. It is now $182 a square foot. So you will see that the asking price per square foot has not declined dramatically. But if we go back here, we can see there's homes for sale as well as homes that are under contract and homes that have sold in the last 30 days. This indicates that the market is not crashing out and bottoming out in Arizona. There is still enough supply and demand uh, on both sides to keep our market active. Let's scroll down again and look at inventory. I think inventory is great to look at. If you look at in May 2017, there were over 1,400 homes listed for sale. What's going to be a bummer is in the next few months, these are going to fall off and it's going to be, you know, this part of the chart's going to show there. But in truth is, Mesa, Arizona usually averages over 1,500 homes for sale. That has declined over the last few years with a slight increase here. But you can see through 2019, inventory dropped like a rock, made it as low as 469 homes on the market, about a third of normal and that's why we were seeing uh, big increases in price, all that kind of stuff over that period of time. You'll see when the COVID-19 crisis hit, it went from 469, went all the way up to 557. There was an initial surge of people putting their homes on the market. That inventory is getting bought, meaning you can see it declining. It's all the way down to 702 and starting to fall again. Let me show you this down here, back to these quarters. Bottom quarter of homes, 34 newly listed homes, 44 sold. Go up a quarter, 36 newly listed, 49 sold. Upper quarter, 23 listed, 30 sold. In the top of the market, nine new listings, 18 sold. These homes are selling. We are not dead in Arizona. I know that other parts of the country are going to experience some pretty significant real estate challenges. Arizona so far, yes, we are affected, but the sky is not falling. Let's go back to inventory and look at average days on the market. And this is going to fluctuate a little bit. This serious decline of days on the market had to do with new homes being listed that had days on the market is zero. That pulled the average days on the market down and it's starting to increase, right? But you can see down here with the homes listed and the homes selling that, you know, average days on the market, 38 days, homes are still selling quick. And if you look at the higher priced homes, yes, they sell slower. There's fewer high dollar buyers in the market. It typically takes longer to sell a higher dollar home than it does a lower dollar home. I hope this gives you a good feel as to how real estate is behaving in Mesa, Arizona. The charts I just showed you are very similar to every city in the area. Yes, there are higher dollar cities that are being affected a little bit differently, but I've been doing market updates now daily for various cities in the Arizona area, as well as an occasional outside of Arizona city. So, my name is David Dion. It is May 5th, 2020. I run the Valley Solutions team in Arizona at HomeSmart, one of the top producing teams in Arizona. 
That doesn't happen by mistake. We wake up every day thinking about real estate. We go to bed every day thinking about real estate. We wake up in the middle of the night thinking about real estate. So if you're looking for homes in Mesa, Arizona, be sure to visit www.mls4mesa.com or give me a call at 480-332-5942. Again, 480-332-5942. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button or smash the subscribe button down below and Hope to talk to you soon. Thanks and have a great day.